Hi guys, just wanted to come in really quick and show my Singer 201-2. This machine is what I'm going to use to make uh, bags, bigger bags, backpacks, things like that. For now, it's just making coin purses as I'm still um, trying to get all my supplies. But yesterday I got in some size 19 needles. And so I think I pretty much have everything I need to use. Here's my size 19 needles. I got some Schmidt's Universal 19 needles. And right now we're just gonna do a quick test and see how it sews. So what I'm using is fox leather and um, some zipper, just a regular zipper I just found. And I have my tension set at a five and I have tech 70 thread and it's size 19 needle. And let's see. And there's the back. And now I'm gonna flip the zipper over and top stitch and see how it does the top stitching. There's my top stitch line. Here it is again. That looks really good. So size 19 needle works really well. Uh, I used to use size 18 and I was struggling with the top stitching. And then um, I ended up getting a bigger needle and that worked out better. So now it's ready for the bigger bags, more intense bag making. Um, but yeah, here's my Singer 201. It's a very old machine, um, but it's very, very powerful. It has a strong motor and you can put so many layers through it and it just sews right along. Um, so let's just test out the, so I can show you guys how it can work really well for thick layers. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is just fold this over twice. So we have four layers. And it's not that thick, but if you have a regular machine, you kind of struggle when you have the plastic machine. So there's four layers. And I could probably put my tension a little higher, but we're going to leave it at that five. Okay, so now we're going to try to sew through these eight layers. It's two of them folded over twice. Um, so this should be the max thickness that'll probably fit under the presser foot. So we'll see if it will even take it. Just make sure my needle's all the way up. Just barely fits. Okay, we'll start it off. And there it is. Just sew through four thick layers, and that was a breeze. It's this top stitch right here, but like I said, I could probably put my tension up a little higher for the upper tension, just so you don't get, um, see the bottom bobbin thread? And here's the top. And there's one, two, three, four, eight layers of fox leather. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a really, really well built machine. Um, it's really quiet, it hardly does any noise. You can't even, I, I love this machine. It's just the best one I have. I actually have three vintage machines, but I thought I'd do a video on my 201-2. Maybe I'll come in and do a video on my 66. I actually just got this one and got the parts for it. So I might do a video on that one. And I also have a 1591.